Okay, so I am having a blast with this, and that's why I'm making another dang video on this right here. But before we get started on that, I know a lot of you guys are up north and you're cold as heck. Best wishes to you. Stay warm, friends. Um, Eric, he, Eric's having a hard time keeping his house warm because it's like negative 30 or something. But anyways, um, it is currently 526, which means this bucket that I put on there, this I, I, I filled up with uh, uh, the hot coals. I've been stirring it every couple of hours to keep it going and get, you know, keep them burning. And this has been going for seven and a half hours now. Seven and a half hours and it is still producing heat. So this is a nice little trick, okay? Now a lot of people warned about the carbon monoxide. I totally get it. I've opened up the windows a couple times uh, here and there to get some fresh air in. And you can actually, you can feel that stuff coming on. You start to get a headache and stuff. Anyways, I get it, just safety, but our place is huge too, so it's like no issue there. But I'm having so much fun that I'm fixing to go for round two and check me out. Oh, we, I need that lid. Right now the heat is coming up and it's, you know, warming my hand, but it's not too big of a deal. But whenever I fill it up with hot coals, it is going to be a very big deal. Oh, I should turn that fan off so it doesn't blow stuff all over. All right. Now, I am a big fan of figuring out different ways to cook. All kinds of stupid stuff. This started a long time ago with the trash can turkey idea. I did not do a trash can turkey, but I did do a trash can ham. And Irene, how did that turn out? It turned out great. It turned out great, didn't it? All right. And now I know that this thing needs to be properly burnt to get all of the galvanization off of it. But we ain't got time for that. So where's my grill? There it is. You know, there's no real fire. All it is is hot coals. And um, where they're at, we've had this barrel, we've used it for years now. So where they're at, yes, I am doing this. <laughs> they're way down low. And I, I feel like uh, the, the galvanization has already been burnt off down there. Now, if I was to really cook something, I would have already put a, built a fire and really, really went ahead and burnt off all of the galvanization. So if you're wanting to do this, like I have, I've done this before. You build a fire inside of it and really burn it off. Um, but with hot coals like this, I feel like the, gar the galvanization doesn't even burn off. And uh, there's a good layer of ash around and stuff. So I ain't worried about it. All you safety police can actually put it in the comments all you want. I really don't give a shit. So, but yeah, I just figured, <laughs> you know, uh, it's just me and Irene. And um, tomorrow we'll probably, we got a, a deer tenderloin, a backstrap. Uh, we got a deer loin. We'll probably be cooking for tomorrow. But for today, I'll just throw some hot, dog, hot dogs on there, you know? And just because, why not? You don't have to man the camera, babe. We're good. Or you can keep watching. Oh, she just wants to watch the show. <laughs> you can hear him cooking. 
This is great. I love it. Uh huh. So I've been thinking a lot lately. So there's never enough time. There's never enough time. And um, oh, at the bottom of this, it's, it's it's just barely warm. So the only reason I got it up here is to keep Louie Dog from snatching a a hot dog. So, anyways, but. I've got so many projects and everything, but I can't get the 268 out of my head. I really need to get it going, figure out what was causing the problem the last time I ran it. I'm certain it's just simple like fuel filter type stuff because it just stopped running on me. It just stopped. And um, that's a really good clean saw. So I need to get that thing going. I also really want to get that Echo 650 EVL. I want to get it going too, but like I said, there's never enough time. I've always got so many projects and, um, you know, here I am fixing to go to Alaska. So it's never ending again and again, over and over. Um, I'm looking for time. I'll be dang, <laughs> Boy, she's cooking fast. It's hot. So what I think we're going to do tonight, it, this is really working tremendously well as supplemental heat. I am just, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how long it's held heat. Like I could have cooked these over top of the fire that I already had. I didn't need to load it up with more. It just would have taken, long, taken longer. God dang, that's hot. So what I think I'm going to do is tonight, um, I am going to take this, fill it up with any hot coals that we got going on and put the lid on it and then put it in our bedroom. We got concrete through floor, floors throughout this place, but we definitely want the lid on it in a situation like that because then it's just going to produce heat. After a while, it'll die out and it'll smoke it. You know, it, it'll actually kill itself out because it's not getting any more oxygen. And uh, that way we're not putting carbon monoxide into our bedroom while we're sleeping. That's dangerous. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's great supplementary heat. And I'm actually, I can't believe I'm doing this right here in our kitchen. So the reason we have this can for our ash bucket, uh, well, you can fit more in it, but that's not the reason we have it. The reason we have it is because the crappy ones that you get that are actual ash buckets, well, they rust out and they, they, they turn to crap in the bottom and everything like after one season. And then you go back and it's like $40 to buy another one and it's a little dinky piece of crap. And so we were like, you know what? This one right here is only like, I think it was like 20 bucks. It was cheap. And uh, so we bought this instead and it's lasted us now like three or four years. So <laughs> two or three years. We only had one of those uh, little purposely built ash buckets for one year. And the, the very next year it was rusted through. And so I was like, what the crap, you know? So we bought this one. Ooh, I believe those jokers are done. Uh, so many people would complain about a lot of the things that I do. But live life, guys. Live life. Experiment. Do things. Or don't. But if you're the kind of person that Ain't gonna do a damn thing because you're scared all your life, but then don't tell me not to do something just because you're scared. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Right there in our home, <laughs> over the actual coals um, from our fire, our actual wood stove. That's freaking crazy. 
All right, let's see if we can pick these up. Oh yeah, that's totally cool to the touch. And remember, the reason for this lid is to block that heat. If I was just to do this, it would burn me. Like, like it burnt those um, bratwurst. But we're done. I'll see you guys next time. I'm a nut. <laughs>